Steve Golly and um, I'd like to take a quick look at um, if you want to migrate from AutoCAD Architecture 2010 say to a product like uh, Autodesk Revit 2010 um, many of you are probably getting the Autodesk Revit suite now which will come with AutoCAD Architecture and you might want to might start migrating some work um, you can import the drawings naturally through the uh, CAD link tool in uh, Revit but um, there's a little not well documented command called IFC which is industry foundation classes which you can actually export to so here I am in AutoCAD architecture and um, I've got my project um, in here I've got my ground I've got my first and second floor you can see it's fairly completed and I might want to start migrating some of this information into Revit and I've also got some mass elements and solid models for my um, reception desk well the export to IFC I'm simply going to type in IFC export hit the tab key it will come up in spell check if I hit enter you'll see the various options I actually have I can export the whole project out and it will actually come out into Revit levels um, or I can export individual drawings that I actually might want to select well I'm going to keep this as an example I'm just going to export this out to my desktop I'm going to call this IFC export from ACA so that's where I'm going to be exporting to and I'm only just going to take my ground floor uh, for this sample but I could bring them all in in my options in here you can see the objects that will come across as part of the IFC so I've got all my curtain walls my doors etc in there and this is the header for the actual file I'm just going to go ahead and hit export so it's going to process all the objects so it means when I swap into Revit just click on the R, I can go to open, you can open the IFC file directly I'll select my IFC there's my IFC export from ACA, AutoCAD Architecture and what it's going to do is going to read the objects in now it's not flawless, you get some, um, might get some anomalies etc but it's a great kicker if you want to actually start your work in um, Revit Architecture so give this a second just to open up and again many other platforms um, or other BIM products or other uh, computer design products might export to IFC so you see we're slightly off our axis or slightly off um, from our elevations here again that's not going to be a worry because we can always move our markers um, as you can see very very easy smooth the position off them so if I have a look at my elevation view I can go into my east view in there take a quick look and go into my north view just double click you can see that you can see that my actual architectural objects come in but let's take more importantly let's look at the 3d view in here and there's what I'm seeing I'm getting to see my mass elements I just pan across I'm getting to see my floor slab coming in I'm getting to see all my doors I'm getting to see some of the modeling components that I had detailed in AutoCAD and AutoCAD architecture um, and again they're all in but the beauty about it is the walls actually have come in physically as wall styles so it has understood the level of intelligence so I can take my AutoCAD architecture objects and I can actually apply this very very easily and change the information so I can simply click on that and change it as a type and swap it out to my Revit family because it has an understanding between the relationship in there I go back in my ground level I can actually start working on the models I can bring in my camera views so this is a great way to actually start getting working um, from AutoCAD architecture migrating in, into Revit um, might be some areas you might need to clean up that would be as expected um, but it's um, because with Revit architecture you have the architecture suite um, you can migrate slowly across thanks for your time